Hello and welcome again to another bike vlog. Thanks for tuning in, man. Today we are out here at the beautiful Park of Roses here in Columbus, Ohio. We're more specifically in uh, Clintonville. We're going to uh, get some pretty good cycling in today. There, uh, the plan for today is I was trying to think in my mind what I really wanted to do. The plan is to uh, to go about an hour. I average about 20 miles per hour, so that'll be about 20 miles. So. Let's get everything all synced up here and then we'll get out on our way and get going. Um, so yeah, that'll be about 20 miles, I'm thinking. I kind of want to, this, this particular route will take us all the way downtown, which would be nice. Um, but we'll see, we'll see if we'll go downtown or exactly what we'll do. So thanks for tuning in and uh, yeah, man, just, Stick with me, ride with me. I gotta get over to this trail. I'm actually gonna go back around because I uh, I know that uh, it's been raining and I'm pretty sure that this is, this is gonna be pretty muddy. So let's see if we can get over this way because I know that other way oftentimes is very muddy. And this is pretty wet right here itself, but it won't be too bad. We're gonna get onto the trail here. And then we'll you'll be able to see. You'll be able to see what I mean in terms of uh, in terms of how far it is to downtown. So we'll get it cracking and Uh, see how far downtown is from here. This is seven miles on that sign there. So seven miles. We should hit that in about 20 to 25 minutes, actually. So we'll see. Yeah, we should hit that in about 20 to 25 minutes, actually. So. A lot, there's gonna be a lot of bikers out here today, I'm sure, because it's a relatively nice day. So, so let's uh, let's get the heck out of Dodge here. Okay. Trying to move over because she was definitely moving. So I love this park, man. It's uh has some amazing trails in it. And uh if you watch part one, this was the trail that I said will actually go from Delaware all the way to uh, downtown. So, yeah. So we're moving today. I'm really gonna try to stretch it out a little bit here, but uh, not go too hard to where I kill myself, you know. And the chair's gonna split for a second into uh, this neighborhood here. And uh, once that happens, we'll be on the street for just a moment. We'll be on the street. And then uh, we'll hop back on the trail here. 
This is the Olentangji Trail that I believe turns into the Sayoto Trail a little bit further as we get a little bit closer to downtown. But it's seven miles to downtown, so we'll see how long it takes us to get down there. And once we get down, we'll turn back around if it doesn't take us too long or if I don't just get completely burned out. <laughs> this is about three days straight of riding, which is obviously the most that I've done in a while since uh, since it's been the, the winter really and uh, haven't had a chance to really get out and ride so oh yeah this will take us to a stoplight here and then it'll take us back on the trail All right, so we're back on the trail. I was with a couple of cyclists back at the light. And uh, I'm waiting for them to come and smoke me here in a second. <laughs> They'll be passing me here in a second, but but keep it going nonetheless. <sighs> Another beautiful day for riding. How you doing? Another beautiful day for riding. You can see how slow I am compared to <laughs> some of these other people but that's okay it's all a work in progress I'll get there eventually It's a beautiful day to ride. Now we're gonna come up to a bit of an incline here. 
but uh once we get near campus once we get near ohio state there's gonna be some pretty big inclines and so we'll just have to bang it out the river's really high right now from all the rain we've been getting Like I caught a couple people. They definitely just have to be riding for leisure. Ah, feel that burn. Feel the burn. <laughs> Again, another really windy day out. And uh, unfortunately, this is a uh, headwind, so it's pushing me pretty good, but it's not too bad. Check my back here just to make sure we're all right. This is a pretty steep incline here I mean long incline once you get on it but just muscle it through I do feel my legs getting a little bit stronger well like I said it's only been about three days so you don't expect huge improvements just yet but we will get there another beautiful view here of the Scioto. I'm taking it really slow. I mean, I definitely could be pushing things a little bit faster here, but, but I'm not gonna do that. See, now he caught me. That was the guy at the light. I knew he was gonna catch me. I just didn't know when. I'm actually gonna to try to stay on his pace. He's rolling a pretty good pace. So, I'm gonna to try to stay right behind him if I can. He looks like a pro. I don't know if I'll be able to, but we're doing pretty good right now. So, I'll stick with this guy for a while and see how far down he actually goes. Uh-oh, I just heard him switch gears. <laughs> Might be speeding up on me. <sighs> oh, this is a fun ride right here. If it wasn't so windy, catching a little bit of his wind. And that would help me out a little bit. I like his pace. I'm gonna stick right with him. Oh. I thought this was that crazy incline. So right now, I'm actually pretty close to uh, Ohio State. It's actually where we're coming. We're gonna go under Lane Avenue here in just a moment. This is the Lane Avenue Bridge. I'm going under that right now. We're actually not too far from downtown. Go 
GoPros have a tendency to make things look a little bit closer than what they are. So, trust me, I'm not as close to this guy as it looks on the camera. <laughs> But I'm just gonna stick with him, take up a lot of his wind, and just relax. Hopefully you guys are getting some beautiful views here. Such a nice trail. We are getting close to a uh, medical center. Not very far from it. I'm gonna actually pass this guy here. Just stretch it out a little bit. I'm actually not gonna pass him. <laughs> So I figured I'd pass him up a little bit. I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. He'll probably pass me back up here in a little bit, but, but it's all good. Still moving at a pretty good clip. I gotta remember, I still gotta go back. <laughs> I'm gonna feel this one tomorrow. Definitely.
about 22 minutes. Sorry, it's a really tough ride today. This terrain is uh, really interesting. You get a lot of hills, a lot of dips and valleys. All right, it's not easy. <sighs> Had to take a little break there. The man I was riding with had to let him go. Well, he 
he's long gone. I'll never see him again. It's not possible. It's too far. Too fast. Who I needed this break. This is a. This is a ride. It's been a joke. It's fun though. Should be down to should be downtown. <sighs> Relatively soon. Alright. Yeah, we're really, really close. So just gonna take it in nice and easy. My man is gone. My rider is downtown. You get a pretty good view of that right there. We'll be downtown in just a moment. Taking it a little slow right now. Give myself a little bit of a break. I mean, that is not an easy ride. I mean, it really, really isn't. The ride back will be even more interesting. It really will. I liked riding with that guy because I'm kind of kept me on pace sticking up with him but somebody else is gonna fly by me here in a moment I guarantee it so this is the Scioto Trail we're headed into downtown right now we got a little down down slope coming I'm just gonna ride out I'm not even gonna take this fast. Down the way. Here you go. Now you're starting to get a pretty good view of downtown. Excuse me, excuse me. And there we go. Beautiful view of downtown right there. As you can see, this is the North Bank Park. It's going to connect us with the Scioto Trail, what they call the Scioto Mayo. And we'll be right downtown. go. Beautiful view of downtown. Riding in from the Scioto Trail. What they call that Scioto Mile. They just redid this whole downtown area here. Built this nice park here on the riverfront as you can see take this a little slow so you can take in the, the view Beautiful down here, man.
It's really nice. You'd be surprised at how it used to look. It didn't look very good. And uh, there were some dams that the city removed. It was previous to this. This waterway was not this wide. They removed some dams and widened the, uh, the river here. So we're gonna take this down just a little bit further and then we're gonna turn around and head back to the Park of Roses. I just think this looks really nice, man, really beautiful. So wanted to get a get a nice little view of this in this in this vlog. Vlog part three. We'll be back on the trail, hit it, hit it back to the Park of Roses here soon. nice down here man so we're gonna turn it around here and start heading back so thanks for watching so far and uh, stay tuned Headed back now. We're headed back to the Park of Roses. So the trail we just came from. Now we gotta turn around and do it all over again. So it's gonna suck. <laughs> nah, this is cool. It'll be. It, it's always better going back. It's always faster. But the bad part is. I don't have my uh, my riding buddy with me, man. And the funny part is, when I got down here, I didn't even see him when I got down here. So, you know, he was definitely moving. So, but uh, yeah, man, as you can see, just a beautiful, beautiful day. It's about 60 degrees out and very uh, pleasant day to ride. Very pleasant day to ride. Now, the wind's gonna be on our back going back, so that should be easier. Yeah, that'll probably be easier. The only thing is if you guys remember, when we were coming in, we had that really big down slope. We're gonna have to muscle our way back up it. It's gonna suck a little bit, but it'll be all right. We're back by North Bank Park now. Took about, I think right around 33, 34 minutes to get down. So I'm sure it won't be as fast going back. Guarantee you that much. So yeah, it'll probably be about an hour altogether. 
I would say. Or a little over an hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes or so. So, you got this treacherous, ridiculous hill coming. <laughs> now I'm over exaggerating, but it is pretty steep. So, we're gonna gear all the way down try to get up in here okay we made it Oh, this is a long ride, boy. I should be close to getting back here in about six minutes, I would say. Should be back. I can really feel it in my shoulders. Oh man. We're at an hour and one minute.
Oh, I see. Okay. I got a little confused right there. I thought that was my turn, but no. This is actually my turn. We'll go back onto the to the road, to the street here for a minute. I'm pretty spent right now. One hour and three minutes. Uh, but we're almost to the home stretch. I'll take a little break right there. Okay, so we are at a minute, I'm sorry, an hour and six. And we are almost back. This has been a long ride, a little longer than I thought it would be starting out, but that's okay. An hour and six is not bad. We've gone just shy of about 14 miles so by the time we get done we'll be right around 15 miles for today which uh, for an hour and six minutes give or take a few breaks and slowing down to let my body catch up yeah, averaging around I don't know 14 miles per hour which uh, Cool with me, man. It's cool with me. So we're back. We're on North. We're at Northmore Park. And we'll take this up to, uh, to the Park of Roses. 
and it will be done. Okay, so let's bang out this last little bit. Shouldn't be too bad. It's been a pretty good ride so far. Long, way longer than I expected, but it's not bad. Going was pretty fun because we had a guy to ride with, which was, which was pretty fun. But now, just riding all along. Thank you all for tuning back in. Part three of the vlog. Stay tuned. Part four will be coming up pretty soon. Good ride today. Great people downtown. And pretty scenic ride on today. So we're back. We're back where we started from. I'm gonna take it home, grab something good to eat. You all have a great, good day. Great day, thanks for tuning in. Take care.